Korea's overall industrial output slumped by the biggest margin in nine months in October. The drop is largely linked to sluggish exports, which are in turn hurting manufacturer sentiment. But according to Hwang Jihae, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Korea's output across all industries was down 1.3 percent in October, marking the first drop in five months and the biggest decline since January. The drop came from a fall in production in the mining, manufacturing and construction sectors, which were hit hard by slumping outbound shipments. Exports have dropped every month this year. And such sluggish exports led to sluggish investments, which altogether led to a drop in industrial output. Businesses reflected the gloomy data. The manufacturer's business sentiment index for November fell three points from a month earlier to 68, well under the benchmark 100, meaning pessimists outnumbered optimists. But every cloud has a silver lining on the back of government-led measures to boost domestic demand. Retail sales rose 3.1 percent in October from the previous month, the biggest rise in nearly five years. The boost in spending also pushed up output in the service sector by 0.2 percent. And while the finance ministry expects the recovery momentum in spending to continue for the time being, experts are skeptical. For consumption to rise, household income has to rise. But the pace of income increasing is way too slow, while the pace of rising debt is way too fast. That's very likely to dent spending. Average monthly income of households rose a mere 0.7 percent in the third quarter from a year earlier. In stark contrast, household debt shot up over 10 percent during the same period. And with lingering threats like the slowing Chinese economy and a possible rate hike by the U.S. Federal Reserve in December, that's widely expected to prompt massive capital outflows from emerging economies. Analysts are uncertain whether Korea will hit 3 percent growth for this year or even next year. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.